write a catchy intro for a YouTube video about how AI can build a gaming PC for you. Here we go. Are you tired of spending hours building your own gaming PC? Let AI do the work for you. In this video, we show you how AI can help you build the perfect gaming rig customized to your specific needs and preferences. Get ready to level up your gaming experience with the help of artificial intelligence. Watch now to see how it's done. Okay, so obviously what you just saw there was a YouTube intro generated completely by AI. Well, at least the script was. I'm real, despite what some people may think but that was all generated within seconds. And all of this is done through a piece of software called ChatGPT, and it's from a company called OpenAI, a very well-known artificial intelligence company, and it's taking the internet by storm. Let me just show you what I mean, because what I wanna do today is I've signed into my free account, took less than a minute. I wanna see if I can get assistance on building a gaming PC. Let's find out. So one of the most common questions I see people ask in the community discord is, what is the best gaming PC for under a thousand dollars? And here we can see it's already thinking and answering. Uh, there are many great uh, gaming PCs. It really depends on what your specific needs and preferences are. Some popular options for gaming PCs in this price range includes Cyber Power PC Gamer Extreme, the SkyTech Blaze 2, and the Dell G5 Gaming Desktop. These PCs are well equipped to handle uh, demanding games and they come at a very affordable prices. That's, this is the first time I've actually seen it mention specific uh, products. Last time I, I tried it, it started to give me some advice here. Um, so let's follow it up and say, what should I be looking for in the, let's say looking for when shopping. When shopping for a gaming PC, there are a few key things you should consider. First, you wanna make sure so it's giving some advice here. We wanna make sure that it's a powerful processor and GPU to handle the games. Second, you wanna make sure there's enough memory and RAM. So this is, I mean, this is pretty cool, uh, first off. And if you're wondering, is this just pulling from existing places on the web? Well, in a sense, yes, it's using the web as a resource, but the answers are unique. For example, I can just take this sentence right here, uh, and well, I guess these two sentences, and let's go over to Google and you know, and quick search tip, if you just search the phrase, you're gonna get a bunch of results and that's not very helpful. So the key is to put it in quotations and you can see nothing comes up. I've tested this a million times. It's never pulling from existing uh, content that's out there on the web. It's literally giving you unique answers. And if you're not satisfied with the answer, you can just try again and it will ask it again and you'll get maybe a similar, but a different answer. You can notice this one was much, uh, much shorter. So one of the questions I have is, well, like let's let's ask a follow up. You say I need RAM, but you know how much RAM will my PC need? The amount of RAM that your PC will need to spend depends on the specific games. As a general rule, eight gigabytes of RAM is a good starting point for more. Uh, most gaming PCs, I would agree that's a good starting point. My recommendation would be really try to hit that 16 gigs. Um, but yes, definitely don't go lower than eight. So I won't say that's inaccurate. I do wish, oh yeah, here we go. Uh, if you wish to use your, for more uh, video 3D, you may want to consider 16. I would still say just consider 16, um, you know, in general, but I would agree most like this is, this is accurate so far. Uh, let's say what, is the best brand for RAM. See what it says here. There's many reputable brands. So you can see right here, some popular ones, Crucial, Corsair, Kingston, and G-Skill. Like imagine that you are someone who has never built a PC before and you don't have time to read article after article and YouTube and watch YouTube video after YouTube video and you're just asking someone or something who has access to all of this information uh, this is pretty impressive that you're now getting some brand recommendations here. Um, and let's, let's, let's just dig into this RAM a little bit. What are the most important things to 
consider when buying RAM. When buying RAM, there's a few things uh, to consider. Oh yeah, you wanna make sure it's compatible. I do have a follow-up question on that. Uh, in addition to compatibility, you should also consider the speed, the faster the speed. Okay, so we're getting a lot of inf interesting things. Uh, how will I know if the RAM is compatible? Uh, check the manufacturer's website. I was curious if it would like actually recommend something like PC part picker, which is obviously very specific here, but this isn't a, uh, this isn't, this, this is a, this is a correct answer from what I'm seeing here. It's just a little bit, you know, there, there are websites like PC part picker that will do the work for you and, and, uh, check the compatibility there. But this is technically the correct way there. Well, let's say here, uh, what is the difference between DDR4 and DDR5. Now what I'm asking it here is a very like informational thing. It's kind of a black and white uh, answer. And you can see, I mean, look at this. Like if you're a writer or even like you're, you're like making YouTube videos and you're, like, you, you just like want to get some bullet points on crap. Like, look at this. Like someone, someone just scripted a whole section of a YouTube video here, or this is like a full TikTok where you just now you're breaking down the key stuff to look at here. Now, here's a question like this is this is kind of a subjective one. Is it really worth getting 32 gigabytes of RAM over 16 gigabytes? So whether it's worth it or not will depend on your computer. For most users, 16 is more than sufficient for most tasks. Agreed, including gaming. Yep. However, if you use your, like, yeah, this is the, this is a great answer. I wish I had this built into Discord because it could answer so many questions because it's often these things right here. Um, let's, let's try some weird things here. Like, uh, what, uh, oh, let's, let's try a big question here. Give me step-by-step -step directions on how to assemble a PC. But look at this again. This is completely unique content. Assembling can see daunting. Start by getting the necessary. Like it's telling, like a screwdriver, a static. This is this is insane. Now we can challenge it. On I'm trying to think of how I would uh, challenge. I would say let, let's ask something weird. But what if my budget? Maybe this is an odd follow-up question to ask to that. But what if my budget is under uh, five hundred dollars? Wow, so it's giving specific recommendations. Now this, keep in mind, this information is up to date as of, uh, as of 2021, so 2021, it's a weird way to say it. And it's giving specific parts. It's not just saying like, oh, just get eight gigs. It's like, it's actually giving out some products here. So we can see the AMD Ryzen 3 100. It, it just built a computer here. So far, I'm impressed. Another thing we could ask is, is it cheaper? to build a gaming PC or to buy a pre-built PC. In general, building a PC is often cheaper than buying, especially if you're willing to shop around for the best prices and components. Uh, however, pre-built PC can be a good option if you don't wanna spend the time doing all that and you get the peace of mind. This is a great, great answer here. And again, it's 100% unique. I could search these sentences. I will not find them out on the internet. Now let's try something really specific here with some products. Let's say, what are the best PC parts for a gaming PC that needs to play Call of Duty Warzone? I'm, I'll be interested to see if it actually gives some specifics. And it looks like it is. CPU, again, this is, this is looking at Warzone specifically and recommending uh, either this AMD one or this Intel. So we got specifics there. We've got specifics. It's including, you know, an NVIDIA one. We've got the AMD for a gaming PC that needs uh, to play. You'll want a motherboard, it's compatible. Yeah, we're getting like, this is insane. 16 RAM is a good starting point that needs to play this. This is insane. 
that we're getting. Like we're getting some pretty specific recommendations here. So I think you get the gist of it here. I've been super interested in this because of, you know, Tech Audit TV. If you haven't been here, it's techaudit.tv. I'll link to it down below. But I mean, this is the place to get price drops on pretty much every aspect of your, you know, gaming PC setup from chairs, monitors, PC parts and all of that. But there's still those questions of, okay, this is a great deal, but you know, does this monitor have the specs that I need right now? Well, that's where something like this is going to make it so much easier. Just for, I mean, 90% of the questions that I get on PC building and just building your setup for streaming, gaming, most of those can be answered with, from everything I've seen from chat GPT. So I'm excited about it. Hopefully you are. Let me know what you think about it. Try it out, join the discord, post some pictures of maybe some funny or wildly incorrect answers you get. But so far, this thing's definitely worth checking out.